Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we're gonna be doing what I wanna term as, I guess, one shot, where I'm taking a question that I got from, from the comments and turning that into a video to hopefully answer that question and turn that into something that maybe somebody else might be looking into. So uh, let's go. CEO here and in this video we're gonna be answering a question by Jeff Mayfield and his comment is do you know of a way to send audio and video to TVs in the church via HDMI out from the computer I have another TV connected to the HDMI out but only video is being sent we would like to be able to use our same camera for live streaming to send over to the other rooms in the church thanks Jeff well, Jeff, this is really simple. I'm going to add some extra stuff to this because I don't know exactly your full setup, but let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and kind of how I would answer this. Um, I've actually done this a little bit, like I'm using this right now, this first method um, to use with my teleprompter, and we will go over how to do that. Now, the first thing you need to do for this to work is you need to make sure your computer actually supports audio over HDMI. Normally with any AMD or NVIDIA graphics card that has HDMI out, it should support it. Let me show you how you can check this on Windows and this does work the exact same way for the Mac, but let's go ahead and show how to do it on Windows. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to my sound bar, which is on a different screen, but we're gonna go to our sound settings and we're gonna go to sound control panel. And we need to make sure that we have this option here that now I'm connected to my Atom Mini Pro, but this shows as a playback option as the HDMI. So I can send audio this way, which is good. That's all we need to check. Now let's go ahead and close this. Now I'm gonna open up OBS and I have this background music just, just looping. This works exactly the same way as when we send audio over to like a conference call number, which I'll tag the video on this. Works the exact same way, but we don't need the VB cable for this. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over here to our settings. We're gonna go to audio, and then for monitoring device, most likely set to default, we need to now pick our HDMI output. This is gonna be sending the video as well as the audio. And I am obviously using OBS for this. This will also work for VMix. Let's go over here, select that, and okay. Now, just as a, as a refresher, by setting the monitoring device, when we go through our sources and set output and monitor, it's gonna send the audio to the live stream, but it's also gonna send it to our monitoring device of choice, which is the HDMI. So we're gonna come over here, and actually, let me bring open my Atom software, and as you can see, my audio is coming in on mic one, but input number two is the HDMI, which without really even doing anything, we have our audio. So let's go here to advanced under the soundtrack and actually I already had it at monitor and output, but you switch it to that and now you're getting this audio. So every source of video, you wanna make sure you're actually doing that. So let me pick my webcam here. All right, so you see we have our video here, camera right here, and we're doing audio. So the same way, I have my ATEM back here, so you see our audio coming through that's off. We're gonna go here, go to Advanced Audio Properties, Monitor and Output, and now, as I talk, you see we're now getting a reading on the HDMI in from this computer. So we are getting audio. Now, the only next thing you have to do is just like what I use with the teleprompter that I'm using right now, based on Jeff's email, I mean his comment, he said he's already using the HDMI out to feed video. All we're doing is adding audio to it. So in this case, let me go back to this one where we're still getting our background music. All we have to do is right click, go to full screen projector, pick our monitor, and now this is gonna be outputting and sending video 
I mean, excuse me, the video, it's going to be sending video and audio over the HDMI out that for me is going to this monitor, but really this is the ATEM input, which will be a projector, TV, whatever, and audio is coming through. So if I bring up our control, as you can see, audio is still going. So let me mute my audio real quick, and then we'll listen on the audio that's coming solely from the HDMI. All right, really nothing major, but we were able to hear everything. And that is really it. Now, this works the exact same way um, in OBS, I mean, excuse me, in um, vMix. So same settings, if you are on a Mac, it works the exact same way. You just have to pick the HDMI out. Now, you always could set your main audio for the entire computer to be the HDMI out. I just did it this way because I only want to hear the sounds that are being captured that's going to your live stream. I do this at my church as well too, because I don't want the windows or the desktop or the operating system sounds to chime and beep for people to hear in the sanctuary or on the other TVs and overflow areas and things like that. So hopefully that answers your question. And I guess this was the first one shot. Let me know what y'all think about this and thank you for the comment. And I think that's about it. Um, if I get another comments, we'll be trying to do some more of these that we can get some quick answers to answer some of y'all's questions. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And I want to thank the patrons and YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names are scrolling right now and you too can become a patron or a YouTube member by clicking the links below. This is AJ folks. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video later.